If you haven't read the books, some of the details and motivations in the Reacher Season 1 ending might not be clear. Reacher Season 1 is based on Lee Child's first Jack Reacher book, Killing Floor. Tom Cruise played the lead in two of Child's later books, Jack Reacher and Jack Reacher Never Go Back, which were both made into movies. If Amazon Prime Video has made a show about Jack Reacher, it would have been a lot closer to how the books are written and how Jack is portrayed. This makes Season 2 more interesting. Reacher Season 1 ends with Jack Reacher leaving Margrave behind as he walks on down the road to his next adventure. By this time, he's cleaned out the corruption in the Margrave police force, burned the counterfeiting operation to the ground, and exacted vengeance for his brother's assassination. If you haven't got the hang of the first season's ending yet, then you're in luck, because today we'll be breaking down the Reacher Season 1 ending. But before any of that, make sure first to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more updates, and watch out for many, many spoilers ahead. So, here is the breakdown of Reacher Season 1, and all of your questions answered. After remembering that his brother, Joe, had once told him a rumor that the blues musician Blind Blake might have perished there, Reacher sees the traveling Jack Reacher arrive in the fictional hamlet of Margrave, Georgia. Reacher gets arrested for a crime he can't possibly have committed shortly after arriving in town, and he works to clear his name. The investigation shows that the slain guy is actually his brother, and in the course of seeking vengeance, he uncovers a massive counterfeiting scheme in Margrave that reaches all the way to the town's enigmatic benefactor, Kleiner. What happens at the end of Reacher? In the final episode, we learned that Joe Reacher was killed to allow the counterfeiting operation he was trying to stop to continue. In this crime, the chief of police, the mayor, and Kleiner Jr. were all implicated, with the latter actually firing the fatal shots. The counterfeiting operation of the Kleiner Foundation involved wiping the ink off $1 bills and recreating them as $100 bills. When Joe attempted to block their access to the original banknotes, he was assassinated by those who profited from the scam. This also clarified a few plot holes that had arisen over the series. What about the pollution in Chester? The product of chemical runoff during the bill erasing process, what was it about animal feed that made Jack Reacher so obsessed? A method of absorbing these substances. Reacher had assassinated the scheme's main players and set fire to the counterfeiting warehouse by the end of the season. Who slayed Joe Reacher? The assassination of Joe Reacher is what keeps Jack Reacher involved beyond simply wanting his name cleared so that he can get out of town and move on with his life. Before he has even seen the body and discovered the identity in episode 1, Welcome to Margrave, Reacher logics that three men must have been involved in the crime based on the way that the body was treated. The shot came from a calm and professional shooter. Someone who was unhinged beat the body after Joe was lifeless, and the third person was responsible for the ineffective job of hiding the body. In the season 1 finale, Reacher's suspicions about the three-man team and their identity are confirmed. Mayor Teal had most of the town under his thumb in one way or another including the chief of police, Morrison. But it was Kleiner Jr. that was behind the murder itself. KJ was the trigger man that actually took out Joe Reacher and tidied up his bullet casings. His friend Dawson was the one that beat the body after Joe was lifeless, and the police chief himself, uncomfortable about his involvement and eager to get out of the area quickly, was the one who hurriedly tried to hide the body with some cardboard. Why does Reacher leave Margrave and Roscoe? The Amazon TV series does an excellent job of creating a rapport and relationship between Reacher and Office Roscoe Conklin throughout Season 1. While it appears that their relationship would continue after the first season of Reacher ends, Jack Reacher from the Prime Show leaves town instead. He says that he believes there were two types of people in the past, those who stayed by the fire and those who wandered, and that he was one of the latter. Reacher's usage of blue tunes that relate to the rambling man tradition, such as Blind Blake's Police Dog Blues, exemplifies this. Reacher elaborates on his decision to leave Margrave rather than stay with Roscoe. He and Roscoe chat all night about it, as she asks him to remain when he knows he can't. 
and he asks her to accompany her when she says she can't. If Reacher stayed and was asked about the entire counterfeiting enterprise, the ramifications from the inquiry would keep him locked up for at least two years. According to him, Roscoe is going to run for mayor at the same time. While he considers staying for her, he realizes that they have different goals and that campaigning is not his cup of tea, so he must dispart. Some of this explanation is conveyed to Finlay instead of the finale, with Finlay covering for Reacher so he doesn't have to be interrogated. Why Reacher buried the Medal of Joe? Before leaving Margrave at the end of season 1, Reacher visits the site where Joe was slain by KJ and buries the medal that the grandfather received for bravery in the face of danger. Throughout the season, flashbacks show that their mother always asserted that Joe would try to solve all the world's problems while Reacher was a strong person who had the bravery to do the right thing. When Reacher buries the medal, he says it takes bravery to solve the world's problems too. Joe Reacher is acknowledging that their mother was not always fair in her characterization of them, and it serves as a farewell for Reacher in acknowledging the importance of Joe's example in their youth. Interestingly, this is not included in Killing Floor, where instead of the season 1 ending, Reacher has a funeral arranged that he is not present for, and asks that Joe's ashes be scattered at the spot where Reacher's blind Blake had once played so many years before. How the Ending of Reacher Sets Up Season 2 With the mystery of Joe's death and the counterfeiting solved, Margrave's problem seems to be over, meaning that the ever-wandering Jack Reacher is likely to be in a new town for Season 2. The first season was based on Killing Floor, the first Reacher book to come out. If it follows the release order of the books, Season 2 will be based on Child's second novel, Die Trying. In that book, the action is set in a Chicago suburb, where Jack Reacher is taken hostage with a woman at a dry cleaning store and has to find a way to escape. In the books, the woman is Holly Johnson, who Reacher learns is an FBI agent and goddaughter of the president. The Amazon show could decide to keep this character, but also they could decide to replace her with either Roscoe or Neagley. After all, other shows based on serialized books have tended to keep on characters after they are no longer in the books because audiences tend to like some continuity in the cast of a TV show, from one season to the next. A recent example is NBC's Big Sky, which kept a number of key characters on for season 2, despite them not appearing in the books. Reacher has already shown a willingness to play around with when characters are introduced into the world. Neagley, for example, is not introduced until book 6 without fail, but played a major part in Reacher season 1. And if she has already appeared outside of her book chronology, there is no reason why she will not be in season 2. The show does hint that Roscoe could be back in the scene where she gives Reacher her phone number. However, this also happens in the book and comes to nothing. Then again, Ritson and Fitzgerald do have chemistry, so you could see why the show may want to repeat that in season 2. It also is possible that Finlay will return. At least two Reacher books have connections to Boston, meaning that we could see Reacher drop in on his friends in the coming seasons, and vice versa. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more episodes.